G'day! In today's video, I'm having a bit of a teardown of an Asus Vivo Book F512D is its model number. So looking at the top and the inside, looks like a laptop. So let's see what we find inside here. I'm curious to see what would be upgradable. So to begin with, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll apologise for the background noise. I do have my front door open at the moment at work. Do be aware these screws are probably different length. So far, this one here has been a long screw. At the front we have small screws. Right in the middle is probably going to be a long screw as well. No. One long screw, four small screws, everything else medium. Now, I don't know why I was going to go and flip it over for. Now, what I'm going to use from here is a fin pry tool, and I just want to work my way into a gap. Or a generator gap. There's some USB ports. In there. No, not quite. Actually, the more I'm looking at this, the more I believe the top half comes off more so than the bottom half. Let's see. There we go. I've made a slight gap here. I'm going to use this thing that I could nickname the pizza roll. Fairly obvious reasons. We are nearly in. There we go. Now let's see what we have. Not a lot, surprisingly. I'll just make a bit more room here so I can slide the laptop around to zoom in. So to begin with, we have a banked 2.5 inch slot, NVMe slot, single assumably DDR4 sodium, Wi-Fi card, replaceable CPU fan or mainboard fan, I would almost classify that as. And there's no copper pipe directly connected to it. This is passively sharing heat between what I'm assuming would be the CPU and the GPU, and a very small battery down the bottom here. So I'm assuming on some models this battery would be replaceable and would extend all the way over. So I'm assuming there would be an optional extra. So to first of all, let's start by disconnecting the battery. So if I zoom in here and take off this bracket here by the looks of it, One, two, three, and four. Take that off, and we have one connection here for a battery, which I'd say should just pull up and back. That locks it into place. So we want to move this back and move this up. We have unleashed the battery. Which, funnily enough, also houses the Wi Fi antenna, or at least it runs along it. And the front facing speakers also run along it. Anyway, with the battery disconnected from here, you'd be able to either upgrade your RAM or your NVMe drive, or basically disconnect anything further. So while we're here, next up we'll have a look and find out what we've got in RAM. Voila, we have 4 gig of DDR4 2666. And how do we get this little duver out? These tabs here. Pull it out slightwards, slightly outwards, <laughs> and same with the other side, and it should flip up. 
There you go. One stick of RAM removed. So from here you could upgrade that to an 8 gig or a 16 gig. And then the reinstallation is pretty straightforward. Slide it into here. Like so. And that should sit at about a 45 degree angle. Like so. And then pull down. Then over here with the NVMe drive. Very similar principle. This one is a Kingston 250 gig NVMe. And we take out the Phillips head screw. That flicks up similar to the RAM did. And you just wiggle it backwards. Out. Similar principle of reinstalling it. Slide it into the groove. Push it in so these copper pins are completely disappeared. And push down. I don't really see why there'd be too much drama of compatibility with the NVMe drive. You would be potentially be able to go up to a one terabyte, possibly a two terabyte, down the line maybe even a three terabyte on this machine. So that wouldn't be an issue. Next up is the wireless card at the opposite end of the board. Same principles that we already learnt. Single screw out, we'll flick up at 45 degrees. Or slightly less. Like so. Now with this, you do have to disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas, which I find sometimes can be a bit tricky. But that just wiggled it, wiggled it, and we're off. Now these are fairly delicate and reattaching, so you do have to use a bit of caution. Typically you line it up so it kind of sits and put some pressure on top. That's one reattached. Same with over here, two reattached. So you could upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 card of some variety. And then lastly, if your, I'll go over a couple more things, but if your CPU or system fan does seem to get very loud, it is replaceable. We have one screw, two screw, three screw, and this connector here. So it is a replaceable item if there's any issues there. Lastly, the other thing that will potentially happen is damage to the charger port itself. So we have this one down here. If I can get it in focus. There we go. So charger port right here, which is soldered directly into the mainboard. So if you do have mainboard damage or damage to the charger port, highly likely that the board would have to be removed to then be able to re-solder in a new one of these. So once you've upgraded or replaced your particular part on this ASUS Vivo book, what you want to do is then reconnect your battery. Which should be a matter of sliding it forward and pushing down, down, and then pull this latch towards you. That's reattached. Next up, we have some screws. Silver screw here, here. Next one over there. Sorry, out of frame. Yeah. And lastly, we have one more screw here and one more down here, which are just simple black ones. Start off down the bottom. Screw up the top. And then from here, if you'll excuse my phone, back cover comes on, start it, hook it over the back, and then fold it down like a book. Now you will probably end up with a bit of a gap, so just squeeze it and work your way around the laptop. That will click it all into position. As you can hear, click, click, click. Now I do remember, when putting those screws back in, longer screw goes in here. Then medium length screws, one, two, three, four, five. And then across the front here is the four smaller screws. So I hope that helps you and I'll catch you guys later.
Bye.